Part of the fun of working with Excel is that it's a very flexible program. So we can often have many different ways to get to the same result. So if what the way I do it differs from your preference, that's okay. We might just learn something new. Now we'll determine the revenue in our sales journal. To do that, we will do a VLOOKUP of the item that's selected here against this table, this price list, which I've already named underscore inventory. Okay, let's begin. Equals VLOOKUP. We're looking for this item, comma. The range is the underscore inventory, which I've set up. Comma, and we want it to return the second the second column. Okay, item C is sixty dollars. Now we just have to go back and finish this formula by multiplying by the quantity. And there we have it. Now if we copy this down, you'll notice that it gives you some NAs. The reason that happens is because some of the variables are missing. To correct that, we'll put a simple if statement around our formula. We'll go after the equal sign, if, open parenthesis, quantity equals zero, then just place a zero. If not, comma, go ahead and calculate our formula and close up the entire thing with a parenthesis. Now we can copy it down and it'll just place a zero where we have no no data in the rows. And let's put a total here on the bottom. And we'll do a test of the next person. Samantha Lee, 115, we'll select item A and a quantity of 75. And there is the revenue for Samantha.